Hope you're doing okay. Wednesday, July the 21st, 2021. Episode guide on baseball players, achievements and accomplishment. Most of these players are in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Episode 84. Henny Manouche. If you get this book, the National Baseball Hall of Fame Almanac, he's in here. Old school, 1923-1939, 17 years. Why did he make the Hall of Fame? Lifetime batting average, 8,422 at-bats. Lifetime batting average of 330. How many times over 300? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen 10, 14 times out of 17 years. Over 300. 2,524 hits. 491 doubles, two 100 RBI seasons. But listen to this for Henny. One, two, three, four seasons over 200 hits. Another season, 194 hits. Let's go over his career, 1923-1939. Detroit Tigers, then he played for the St. Louis Browns, the Washington Senators, even the Brooklyn Dodgers, Boston Red Sox, and Pittsburgh Pirates. Why did he move around so much? I don't know, but he could hit 2008 games. Starts off 21 years old, that's 334. I'll, I'll focus on his hits and batting average, because he only hit 110 homers and 1,100 RBI, 491 doubles. Let's focus on the hits. 1922, 122 hits, 289. 1925, just played 100 games, 302 average. 1926 takes off, 188 hits, 378. Henny Manouche, have you heard of him? 1927, 177 hits, 298. 1928 season, 154 games, every game. 697 at bats, qualifies. What does he do? 241 hits. Record was George Sisler's 257, broken by Ishiro with 262. He gets 241 and bats 378. That's twice he's hit 378. 1929 season, 204 hits. Back to back, 200 hit seasons. 355. 1930, 194 hits, 350, 350 batting average. So he's got a good stretch gear going here. 188 hits, 177, 241, 204, and 194. Boy, that's like, like what is that? 2, 4, 6, 8, about 1,100 hits in five years. 1930 season, this is 100 games, 328. 1931 season, 189 hits, 307. 1932, 214 hits, third time. 200 hits, 342 average. 1933, 221 hits, 336 average. 1934, 194 hits, 348. So he's gone one, two, three, four, five years in a row now, 1,000 hits. So he had a stretch of five years where he had 1,100 hits. He goes another five years and has another 1,000 hits. So 21 100 hits in 10 years. He was on pace for 4,000 if he plays 20 years, right? But 
apparently missed some games. 1936 season, 91. Well, let's see. 1935 season, 131 hits, 273. 1936 season, 91 hits, 291. 1937 season, 155 hits, 333. So then 38 and 39 seasons. Doesn't play much. 38 season, 250, and the 39 season, just 10 games. So you, you could say that in 15 years, 15 and a half years, Henny Manouche had 2,500 hits in 15 and a half. He was on pace for 3,000. And if he plays 20 full seasons, he made 22 full seasons. He could be close to 4,000 hits. So he has a lifetime batting average of 330. Did you know about Henny Manouche? I didn't know until I read the Hall of Fame book. All right. We're going to keep moving on my episode guide. We'll see how many we get to. Max Carey is next. Thanks for watching. I'm out.